Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Caroline Thirier, so I'm uh, the operational manager and the training officer for uh, France Bioimaging, uh, which is a national um, research infrastructure dedicated to um, biological imaging. And I'm working with Jean Salamero, which is, who is uh, the scientific director of the infrastructure. So today, um, I'm really glad to present um, France Bioimaging Initiative uh, for an integrated and progressive training passport for recognition and validation of imaging core facility engineers' career path. So, as a national uh, research infrastructure, of course, um, training is a key mission for France Bioimaging. Uh, but its uh, purpose is also um, to guarantee uh, the excellence of education and um, professionalization of the bioimaging community. And therefore, we are working uh, to guarantee the, the, the excellence of the training uh, offer, but also, and mainly, of the expertise of the trainers. Uh, that means that we want to, be, um, to guarantee the quality of uh, the training of our um, core facility staff. Uh, because they are the, um, the main um, factor for um, knowledge transfer. And that is why um, we think it's essential for us to be proactive uh, in, uh, the, um, uh, in the, this proposal of a new kind of a training model um, which is an integrated and progressive training um, pathway, aka training passport, as we call it. And um, uh, to also, it will be important um, to integrate this kind of training pathway um, we, uh, into um, the career path of the core facility staff. So um, this was our, our first idea uh, about how to, to, to propose uh, this type of training model. And the first step um, to propose the basis of this training model was um, to analyze a bit um, our training offer, current training offer in France by Imaging. Um, so, um, of course, we propose a lot of training for our users uh, so they can acquire the know-how uh, about technologies and methodologies. Uh, we have, of course, a lot of vocational training, like many other countries um, here represented. And we participate and co-organize trainings with other institutions, national institutions, transnational institutions, and international institutions. Also, France Bioimaging has a very important uh, role as a sponsor of training activities. So, we can see that we have a large uh, training portfolio and that we could use this portfolio for, to build our uh, training pathway. But we, if, we, if we look a little bit closer to this training offer, we also see that we have uh, a few points that, we have that can be bottlenecks, like um, the problem of the availability of training um, versus the current needs in training. Um, also, we don't have a quality assessment model um, in France, also a national quality assessment um, for the training. And the main problem could be the fragmentation of the training offer because each 
partner institution or stakeholder, training stakeholders is um, is proposing his own training plan. So it's on training courses. There is no interactions between um, between this um, training plan. And this leads also to another problem, the redundancy of the training offer. And this problem is mainly for the basic courses. Um, so we have to keep it in mind um, when we will be uh, thinking about how to build this uh, training model. And uh, the last uh, problem is um, the lack of sustainability for a training model, a national training model. That's why we think it's important to think a little bit about the possibility to have a national initi initiative for a training pass in biomedy. Uh, if, of course, these courses exist and are really useful for the acquisition of expertise and knowledge, but we don't have um, the tools to measure the benefits uh, of uh, these courses on the career path of the, um, of the core facilities, and we don't know much about the impact, the impact on the professional um, perspective of the core facility staff. That's why uh, we are we were working on um, a rationalization of the training offer in France and the construction of a training path. And to do that, um, we were well aware that we needed to build a consensus with the national partners um, working on um, uh, by imaging. Um, so, and why we need this consensus? Because it's really important uh, to have the support of these uh, partner institutions and training stakeholders in order to have a sustainable uh, training model and to be able to propose um, um, a training path that could be integrated into um, the, um, the career um, development of the core facilities and recognized by those partners um, and institution partners. Um, so just a general overview of uh, our partners on this work. So we have a lot of partner institutions like universities and research organisms, but also, um, and mainly, uh, we are working with uh, the core facilities uh, from the FBI scope um, and the professional networks um, for light microscopy and electron microscopy that we have in France. And we think also that it's, it, it, it is sorry, important to work with the other national research infrastructures um, uh, which have overlaps uh, in terms of disciplines with um, bioimaging um, because we need um, to guarantee the interdisciplinary uh, expertise uh, for this uh, training model and also it will help, help us to have um, to identify maybe potential uh, training sites with specific um, uh, models expertise so this is an overview of the definition of, um, of our training passport the idea is to have a streamlined, integrated, and progressive training portfolio with um, multi-level uh, complexity and uh, with a recognition and validation system, uh, meaning we will have an evaluation to uh, go from one step to another. 
and with um, an equilibrium between uh, theory and uh, practicals. And to build this training passport, we uh, organized a dedicated working group with um, gathering um, core facility staff from the, the FBI scope and uh, the professional networks. Um, and um, so they, they are working, uh, currently working on the um, construction of the progressive pathway and the content of the different level of the training passports and uh, the different module. We also have members of France by Benji by Image Informatics Node. We are, who are going to work on the image processing and analysis modules. And also, um, they will ensure the integration uh, and the articulation with microscopy, the, the different microscopy uh, pathways and, and modules. And finally, we have um, in this working group uh, members from the FBI Industrial Committee um, their participation is really important for us, be, for, yes, for us because um, they were um, working on the proposal, the first proposal for training um, passport and for the light microscopy pathway. So, based on this proposal, we are now working with all the other partners. Um, to build uh, a great program. Um, also, they are willing to share with us uh, their um, uh, experience um, and feedback on the, the evaluation system of the different modules and its implementation. So it's really important for us. This is, uh, just for information, the roadmap that we elaborated with the different deliverables. And we are currently working on the, um, the integration phases. So <coughs> we are trying uh, to see which um, available um, training courses could be integrated to the training uh, passport if we need to reassess this training. So we, we have a technical um, sheet about the requirement for each training. And we expect to be able to launch a first proof of concept uh, during next year. And this is um, the current proposal uh, an overview, of course, uh, of the current proposal for the, the training passport. So, as you can see, um, we have a first level, which corresponds to the, the basis in imaging, which is a joint module um, between light microscopy and electron microscopy. And this level will lead to a second level, um, with um, three uh, modules, main modules, on optical principles for light microscopy and electron microscopy, and a third module um, for image analysis and processing. Um, of course, there will be um, interfaces between those modules in order to have a complete overview of, uh, of the training. And then you have the third level, which is more um, a la carte level. Uh, so the participants um, will be able to choose one of or, or several um, modules, um, which are um, the more advanced modules in this training passport. So uh, finally, I, I just want to share with you some points, important points. One of them is um, the, 
the complexity of um, of the conception and the implementation of the evaluation system. Um, we, I think, we will need more time than we foreseen at the beginning to to create something um, that will work, and in order to be able to monitor um, really well the the as the 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 validation of um, of the um, the expertise acquired during the, the training passport. The second point is um, that this training passport will be not uh, limited to core facility staff, but open to users and all the community in bioimaging. But it's it's important to note that. The validation and the monitoring of acquired expertise is essential for core facility staff. And uh, for those who are preparing for these professions, and that this uh, training should have an impact on their career development, but we still need to figure how we will do that. Um, uh, through which institutions and um, <coughs> using which tools, a certification, a diploma. So I think we will have time later to, to discuss and exchange about the possibilities. And the last point is that, of course, uh, you have things that uh, this training passport is mainly focused on technical and methodological training. It's a start. Uh, the idea, and we are well aware of that, is that we will be complement this um, training passport later on with uh, training on um, soft skills and administrative skills. So we have a complete overview of a real career path for facility staff. And this is the end for now.